Democracy and Social Ethics by Jane Addams, first published in 1902, is an influential work in which Addams explores the interconnectedness of democracy and ethics, advocating for a deeper moral consideration within social reform and political life. Adams, a co-founder of the Hull House Settlement, which served immigrants and the poor in Chicago, drew upon her extensive personal experiences in urban social work for the insights presented in the book. Adams argues that democracy must be more than just a political system. It must be integrated into the social fabric and daily lives of citizens if it is to genuinely improve society. Democracy, in her view, should embody social ethics, which she defines as the application of moral principles to public and community life. She posits that ethics can no longer be solely individual and must be concerned with social relations and the well-being of the community. Unlike the individual ethic that focuses on personal moral development, social ethics involves the collective moral growth and assumes shared responsibility for societal problems. In the book, Adams notes that social problems such as poverty, inequality, and corruption cannot be effectively addressed by isolated individual actions. She illustrates that traditional ethics frequently address personal issues, but do not adequately consider the systemic and structural causes of societal challenges. Adams calls for a renewed social ethic that includes cooperation, mutual respect, and a commitment to the common good, which in her view, are essential for the functioning of a democratic society. Adams critiques the ways in which contemporary democracy fails to live up to its ideals, particularly in how it deals with the disenfranchised and marginalized. She highlights the disconnect between the privileged and the poor, asserting that the prevailing attitudes of indifference and paternalism among the wealthier classes are obstacles to social progress. She stresses the necessity of empathetic understanding and mutual engagement between diverse groups to foster a more equitable society. The author addresses the role of charity work, expressing concern that it often perpetuates the social divide by treating those in need as objects of pity rather than as equals with dignity and agency. In contrast, she calls for a charity that is participatory and respectful, one that empowers communities and promotes self-reliance. Adams believes that solutions to societal problems must emerge from the collaborative efforts of those directly affected by such issues. A theme that runs through the book is the critical role of women in enacting social change. Adams argues that women possess a unique perspective on social issues due to their traditional roles in the family and their emerging roles outside the home. She suggests that as women expand their participation in the public sphere, they bring important insights and approaches to civic life. However, she also notes that the societal limitations placed on women restrict their ability to contribute fully to democracy. Adams discusses several specific areas in which democratic and social ethics must be applied, including education, political reform, labor disputes, and criminal justice. Regarding education, Adams argues that schools play a key role in nurturing communal values and social ethics in children. She advocates for educational systems that go beyond academic instruction and contribute to the moral development of students in preparation for their roles as active citizens. In the political realm, Adams observes that political corruption and partisanship undermine democratic integrity. She calls for a higher standard of public service where politicians act as stewards of the common good rather than as servants of special interests. Moreover, she emphasizes the importance of nurturing an informed and active citizenry that demands accountability and transparency from its leaders. Adams addresses the often antagonistic relationship between labor and capital, arguing that a social ethic could foster better understanding and more equitable negotiations. She believes that labor disputes are not simply economic, but are deeply ethical concerns that require a shared commitment to justice and the rights of workers. Adams envisions a society in which workers have a voice and are valued partners in economic progress. In the matter of criminal justice, Adams critiques the punitive nature of the legal system, suggesting that rehabilitation and restorative justice align more closely with democratic and ethical values. She points to the need for societal reforms that address the underlying factors leading to criminal behavior, such as poverty and lack of opportunity. 
Throughout the book, Adams underscores the importance of direct engagement and personal involvement in social reform. She encourages individuals to move beyond passive sympathy to active commitment in addressing the challenges within their communities. This engagement, according to Adams, is essential to bridging the empathy gap between different social classes and fostering a deeper sense of solidarity and mutual responsibility. One of Adams' central messages is the transformative potential of democracy when it is driven by an ethic of care and interconnectedness. She envisions a democratic process that is not only about governance, but also about cultivating relationships and communities that are just and humane. Adams stresses that an ethical democracy should strive for the full development of every individual and should aspire to create conditions that enable all people, regardless of their social status, to live fulfilling and productive lives. In conclusion, democracy and social ethics is a profound reflection on the moral underpinnings of a democratic society and the ways in which social ethics can inform and strengthen public life. Jane Addams calls for a reimagining of democracy as an inclusive, participatory, and moral endeavor where social justice and empathy are foundational principles. She invites her readers to take part in the ongoing project of making democracy a truly ethical and socially responsive system, a mission that remains relevant over a century after her writings. Through cooperative efforts, empathetic understanding, and respect for the inherent value of every individual, Adams believes that an ethically grounded democracy has the power to enact meaningful and lasting social change.